Hey guys, this is um, Mike and Rachel Holwick, and we <laughs> I can introduce you if I want to. <laughs> so we just wanted to... Um, you're, you're Rachel and I'm Mike, right? Yeah, I am Rachel and he's Mike. <laughs> we wanted to say hello and give you a few pointers to help you make it through the holidays, hopefully without any flare-ups. We just have a few pointers that we wanted to go over really briefly um, to make the holiday season awesome and successful and happy and avoid digestive trouble. So um, the first thing that we wanted to touch on was stress. Um, during the holiday season, you have family, you have expense. There's just a lot of unfamiliar foods that are happening. The, one of the best things that you can do to help stop problems before they start when it comes to the holiday season is take our turmeric supplement concentrated, effective, useful form of turmeric, and in clinical studies, it's been shown to be as effective as Prozac as far as the mood stabilizer goes. And so it really is a wonderful way to help keep that acid level down from stress and anxiety, and it's an anti-inflammatory supplement, which means it's going to really help your digestion as it goes too. So if you're not taking turmeric, I definitely suggest that you start doing that now as kind of a precursor for the holidays to help get you through and over some humps. Another thing is, during the holidays, so, you know, Thanksgiving just gone by, we're headed towards Christmas and, and New Year's, and a lot of people are in the habit of drinking or drinking a little more than normal during this holiday period. So, uh, a couple of things we'd like to make clear, one of which is uh, there are some ways to drink and make it as safe towards your digestive tract as possible. And the first thing I have to mention is that Beer is actually probably the worst thing you can drink. So pay attention to what category a given alcoholic drink is in. So like a wine cooler or wine or some of the things you can buy at the convenience store that have a flavor. Um, some of those, most of those are going to be fall into the S category. Beer, however, is different. Beer is not only an S food because it has a lot of carbs in it, but it also has carbonation, which is very stripping to your mucosal lining. It's very hard on your digestive tract. It's actually the worst drink that you can use. But whether you're going to have a beer or not, whether you're going to drink one of these alcoholic drinks or a mixed alcoholic drink, the main thing is to take about six capsules of Slippery Elm 15 or 20 minutes before you have that drink. If you happen to have any charcoal capsules at home, one or two charcoal capsules with your five or six slippery elms is actually the best thing you can do um, to try to mitigate. And you, you actually need to do that with each single drink that you consume. Consider it starting over. And I wouldn't, I don't recommend a lot of, you know, back to back drinking, but if you're gonna have a drink or two or maybe even three at a holiday sitting, hit those slippery elm really heavy and if you have it on hand, a, a charcoal capsule, an activated charcoal capsule is also beneficial. 